Okay, so I've handled a lot of very large dogs with this method. Danes, DDR, German Shepherds, Bernie's Mountain Dogs, Bernadoodles, the standard ones, the really tall ones, boar bells, other types of mastiffs like kind of corsos, etc. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. If you have a very large dog that is still a work in progress when it comes to its training, you can do one block in each hand. You don't have to have it both in the same hand. So if it makes you feel better, you can have the first lock in your non-dominant hand and then the second lock in your dominant hand and walk like this. And a lot of people think that the pressure is on your finger. It's not. The pressure comes out of the back of your hand. I feel the only pressure I feel on my finger is from my thumb. All the pressure comes out of the back of your hand. It's just a much safer way to walk dogs because if you're grabbing the leash like this, obviously the leash can slip out. This can literally break your wrist. It will break your wrist. Um, and going like this is just a terrible idea because you lose this hand and you lose control, you lose dexterity. You don't have a lot of control. It's difficult to shorten the leash like that. Whereas if you have the lock and the other lock, you can just slide the leash, lock it again, slide, lock. So it's an easier way to shorten the leash as well. Um, and even if you're like working with your dog on manners, loose leaf manners or something, and you're like doing pivots and stuff, I still, I don't feel the pressure on my finger. So give it a go. Trust me, it works. Um, it's just a safer way than the others. Um, or if you have like a leash handle on your dog, you could lock with this hand and then have the traffic leash handle in the other hand. Something to consider. One more thing is doing it this way also takes a leverage away from the dog. Um, I have had people who've had their shoulder dislocated because when you hold a leash like this or like this and the dog can take off running and they have that leverage, this action can really mess up your shoulder um, or your shoulder capsule, capsule or even your cervical spine. So that's something else to think of. Um, you would rather have pressure coming from here than whoo, like that to your, to your body. Trust me.